Hey guys, what's going on? It's your favorite sidekick here. Welcome back to the first ever episode of Build and Talk, where we build on creative and play off the stories of my life. Basically, this is a brand new series that I'm going to be doing to interact with you guys, the fans, a lot more. Basically, we're going to be doing a series where I build things in this world. You can see I'm starting building here. It could be in this world. It could be things that you guys ask me to build or uh, just basically anything um, that you guys vote for. I will be having Twitter votes to seeing what I should be building next, like I had one yesterday, and also what topics I should be talking about. And today, we are going to talk about the first series I was ever in and my experience with that on Minecraft. So, basically me joining the Minecraft community, even though he was a small YouTuber at the time, he has blown up and become a little bit bigger along with the rest of us, and he's also a very good friend of mine. So we will get to that story in a little bit while we build and talk here on my channel. But before we get into it, guys, if you could leave a like down below, that would be absolutely amazing. Maybe subscribe if you're new here for daily Minecraft content, along with my new series, Crazy 8 Adventures, if you don't know. Make sure to go check that out, so uh, if you haven't seen it already, it's a great new series based all on mystery with brand new characters, and it's a real doozy. It seems you guys have been liking it. If you have, make sure to leave a comment down below with any inspirational things you want to say to me, because I do appreciate it very much, and I love you guys, the fans. And this is a way for you guys to get me, to, you know, get to know me a little bit more. But without further ado, let's get into the video, and you can see that we're right here. Um, you guys voted the other day and you wanted me to build a town hall so I started building the town hall basically what happened was I did this video already and then um one of the video files would actually crash my computer and would not let me upload it to Sony Vegas, which I do use for editing. So I would not able to post that video, but I will be doing another one. And that's why half of it is built. I wasn't going to start from the beginning, but this is going to be a, a town hall basically where, uh, everyone can come and we will have a mayor, I guess, eventually, but, um, Without further ado, let's get into the actual thing that we're going to be uh, talking about today, and that is my first YouTube um, experience with another YouTuber and being in a Minecraft series. As many of you know now, or if you don't know, then you've been living under a rock, but I do. Um, I am a part of a Minecraft series called Overworld um, with Nitro Luke DX and other members as well. And this guy uh, who I started my first series with is also in Overworld and we have be remained close friends uh, ever since this day. And that of course is Professor Frogs and although we've had our ups and downs, we have remained close friends throughout um, our YouTube careers and our careers of knowing each other because we have known each other for quite a long time now. It is over a year officially um, that I've joined his series when I joined the series. Um, so it is over a year officially, so that is pretty exciting stuff. I should probably tell him that and, you know, maybe say thank you. So, Froggy, if you're watching this video, you guys might call him Professor Frogs. I call him Froggy. Um, thank you. Uh, you know, it's been an incredible journey with you, and hopefully we have a lot more in the future. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's just it's been awesome to get to know you and, you know, build our fan bases together and watch our channels grow. Although we've had a lot of ups and downs, we've worked over everything. But without further ado, let's jump into the actual story because I bet that's what you guys are actually here to know. You guys are probably here to actually know that. So, um, basically, uh, why I'm talking like that as well is because that's how me and Froggy's favorite YouTuber, favorite YouTuber to, uh, you know, uh, impersonate. That's what he sounds like. If you guys n don't, if you guys know who I'm talking about, comment down below and uh, that would be pretty cool. I'll tell you if you're right. Um, if you know who I was impersonating before, where he goes, hello folks, <laughs> hello folks, you little bit of a dumbo, little bit of a dumbo folks. But uh, anyway, that's a little shout out to Froggy right there. But basically how this all started was, I was a YouTuber, as you guys may or may not know, it's a little trivia. I do mention a lot and it is part of my name now. I did mention it in my uh, I'm back video, which um, the DM part of my name, Psychic DM, comes from me, my old name, me old name, my old name, um, blah, 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 blah. DM Gang Gaming, which I was when I had a channel with my friends, and we used to post Minecraft videos way back in the day, and I had my first creative adventure series, which was called, um, 
uh dm survival studio misadventures it was a bit of a long name that froggy used to make fun of me for saying yo dude why do you have such a long name and i'm like oh, i don't know i just like it you know it was a unique name instead of adventures i had misadventures but obviously it was a little long i do see that now but anyway i will tell you the story of how i joined so basically um i saw that froggy put up a thing saying he was recruiting people to get into his series and obviously i was very interested in joining froggy series you know i watched his videos he was only about at like 600 hundred subs at this time so he was not uh, at a lot of subs but uh it was it was kind of cool um you know he was still a youtuber that i liked i did watch him and you know it was my chance to sort of put myself out there in the minecraft community me being a small or youtube channel only at like 50 subs at the time can you guys even imagine that i was only at 50 subs at the time and now we're over like 3200 subs strong but i was only at 200 at the time but anyway to go along with that um basically i kept asking him in the comments to join blah 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 i think he was away at the time or didn't see the comments because he was not answering i got a skype and everything and then one day he finally answered and said i could go on trial so i was super super excited about that i was super nervous as well um and the first people i met was Fro uh, the first people i met within the series was froggy obviously i met a kid named tommy who we remained close friends for a while i do still talk to him sometimes and I'll, me and froggy have a lot of funny stories about tommy he used to play spikes um on the channel a long time ago um if you guys remember that he was the original person to play spikes in the original cma and Smokey the bear um those characters like that uh, obviously we we've parted ways since then but he was the original to actually play those characters um so he, he uh me and him immediately became really good friends and you know hit it off uh, we used to be called a lot of mischief, but let's not get too far into that. I might talk about that later. But, you know, I met Froggy, uh, this other kid named Tristar, who I was not too fond of. Um, and Froggy uh, and Tommy, like I said before. So basically, we went into the series um, and I started off on trial. We were actually building a beach that day. And the first thing I had to build for Froggy was a ice cream truck, which I built a very cool ice cream truck. Um, you might even see one appear in this world at some time, just as, a, you know, that was like the kickstarter to my career was that ice cream chuck like i wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the ice cream chuck but anyway froggy said the series trial was going to be a week long a long story short mine ended up being about one hour after he actually let me into the series um i was able to build my statue it was a relatively a fast process not like we do it here today we usually here we have to wait a while now to see if you're committed but um obviously uh, we had that and uh, you know we went off of that and my first skin obviously I was a lot of skins as you guys know I do tend to be a lot of skins but my first skin in his series was a blah, 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 an iron golem uh, I was an iron golem in his series I lived inside a rose I don't think we ever actually did a video with that but I did live inside a rose it was pretty cool then I was um, the original DM game gaming which was a blue Spartan um, so I was that and I was a bunch of different skins I was a a red panda i was a ocelot at one point i was just a bunch of uh, crazy different skins um that he would introduce me as i think the longest running i was i probably was the blue spartan i think i was in the most episodes is that but long story story i got into the series i was super pumped i was really so excited to get into the series and little known fact i was actually more excited in the long run to get into froggy series than i was to get into nitros i don't know why or maybe it was just new to me but i was so excited anyway we started building and me and froggy started building a relationship and i started building a friendship um with other people within the group especially tommy and we would build mini games and we'd build adventures and we'd screw around and uh you know change our skins because we were knobs and stuff like that and basically uh just just do a bunch of stuff um it was a it was a real fun time to actually um you know be in a series and be a part of something now this was a win back when his series was called frog squad adventures uh, way way back in the day on a really old world that we do like to visit memory lane sometime there was a guy named aaron he was about 43 i mean uh, 30 34 years old so that was a little weird but um we used to mess around with him and there was other people as well a kid named xander who i met through froggy who became to uh became one of my very very good friends as you guys know him as forehead films that's right forehead was also in the series with froggy froggy and Forehead did not uh get along at first but they did end up um being in the series together um until something happened and that was the great series split so when me and froggy when my series started growing um we actually split characters down the middle 
Um, so Froggy actually took uh, Xander. Ugh, who did he take? I mean, not Xander. He took um, Tommy, and I took Xander, which was sort of weird at the time because I didn't really know Xander. And also Angosaurus or Ruddy Robin or whatever you guys know him with. He was there as well. Um, he will be making his return to the series after uh, his departure from CMA. He'll actually finally be coming back, so watch out for that. But anyway, he did leave the series, but basically the, the deal was um, Froggy got TriStar and Tommy, and I got Xander and Andrew, and that's why we started building the series. Obviously, um, we had a big split and a big fight where uh, Tommy ended up coming with me, um, and I had all three of them, so we were the big three at the beginning, where we had Ruddy Robin, uh, Smokey the Bear, and Forehead Films. So that was the big three at the middle, which was kind of cool. But uh, me and Froggy were not big fans of each other for a while there. And I'm trying to find Brick, if you're wondering what I'm doing. I'm actually just building the back of the, uh, the, blah, 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 the blah, whatever this is called, the, well, why can't I think of it, Town Hall. Um, so yeah, we sort of split. We didn't talk to each other for a while. We got into a big, big fight. Um, it really was not uh, a good relationship, uh, a friendship that we were in right there. So I decided to leave Froggy Series. And we didn't talk for a while. Um, I did uh, get into Nitro Series, as you guys know, which will be a story um, that I could tell another day. But I did get into Nitro Series, um, which Froggy was, whether he admits it or not, very jealous that I did get into Nitro Series as he was trying to get into too. I still remember that night where he was... <laughs> He's going to kill me for telling you guys this, but he was literally begging uh, me to mention him to Nitro so he has a chance to get into the series. But obviously, we were not good friends at the time, so I would I wasn't going to do it. And, you know, we were just mean to each other back then. Obviously, we have a really good friendship now where everything is OK, uh, which is uh, absolutely amazing. But, um, yeah, that's what it was like in the early days. Um, and we used to just mess around. And now, obviously, we're we're doing uh, we're doing well together and we're we're, we're building and doing all sorts of, of stuff. Uh, basically, I'm building the boring stuff first so you guys can see the other stuff later. But this is sort of just uh, a trivia thing for you guys. But obviously, the, this is I'm doing this because the big news is is that me and Froggy will actually be having more videos coming out together, where whether it's FNAF or doing adventures together, where our teams will be more committed together and doing more um, videos together. So you guys can look uh, and, you know, be excited for that to come as well if you guys have any comments uh, or questions about what i should build next or any questions about the series at all or atomic a topic of what you think i should build next make sure to leave it down below and for the final so that's the video that's basically uh how i got into froggy series and my my adventures throughout froggy series um and obviously we're great friends now we work together in overworld all the time and we we joke around a lot and uh we you know we, we have a good friendship uh going on so obviously I'd like to, to thank Froggy at the time if he's actually made it this far into the video for everything just like I did before. Oops, I did not mean to destroy that. Whoopsie daisies, folks. Whoopsie daisies. Whoopsie daisies. I was not supposed to do that. Okay, but anyway, um, enough with that voice. Jeez, man. Um, yeah, so that is the topic of the video today. And now I'm going to actually go to the front and I'll finish this back on the sides later. And I will teach you guys how to do the front. So you can see that I went for a more of a, you know, uh, a brick and uh, you know two different types of brick look I was gonna go for quartz originally but I decided to change my mind and actually go with uh, this sort of look but you could see that what I'm actually doing is you know we're gonna do the upper part now which I want to have a clock and I can show you guys how to build that but uh, you know if you guys have any questions or maybe you know you're not the best builder and you're looking to get into a series um, like Nitro the biggest thing when you're getting into a series like Overworld or, or any one series really is building and be making sure you're a mature, good builder. Um, so, and the best way to do that is just to practice and keep on practicing and practicing and practicing because without that practice, you're never going to get anywhere. You really have to, to put a, a time committed into it, you know, look up tutorials, look up different build styles. You know, everyone's good at building something. Um, I'm good at building statues. Uh, I'm good at building, you know, different things. You know, I don't really know what my, you know, you figure it out as you go along. I don't really know what exactly my, my biggest strength is, but uh, I do, you know, I, I just try my best and, you know, have fun with it. And that's the biggest thing to remember is you have to have fun while you're building or, you know, you're not doing it right. 
you know if you're if you're not enjoying what you're building that's why I sort of switched the series and come to this because I enjoy the storyline um, from CMA obviously to uh, Crazy 8 Adventures. I enjoy the storyline. I like what we're building. I like the stuff that we're building. I like coming up with the new characters. I feel like Forehead and Sing Songs were kind of dead, but uh, now I have a chance to you know build them up and you know make them really really special characters that uh, you know different from before and you know rebuild the series from the start and build what I want to build. So that's a real special thing uh, for me at least. And that's why I'm doing this here today to show you guys that, you know, you can, you, you're able to do this. Like this is an actual thing that you are able to do. And it is a lot of fun being a creative adventure and being in someone's series. I know I love being in Luke series and Luke even, uh, you know, sometimes I come up with the ideas for the series. If you guys didn't know, if you watched Sword of Jakku and you've watched the very recent Sword of Jakku with the trees, that was completely, and I mean, Luke stepped in and, and said what he wanted, but um, that was completely, uh, you know, done by me. I mean, the idea was mine. Obviously not done by me. A lot of people helped out with the builds and stuff. But that was, you know, that was my build and my idea that, that came to life. But guys, uh, you know, that's all we were doing today. Basically, just a quick short video showing you guys all this stuff and all the different stuff. So if you have a comment, make sure you leave it down in the comment section. Um, if you're new to the series, make sure to subscribe and leave a like down below if you want to. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.